today we're up and down Abbey Hills Road, we're going to have a look at a few cottages, a few backwaters and we're going to have a look at the dog and partridge on Marathon Road, the abandoned pub and also the laws and I'm going to tell the story of the Glodic Hermit. So stick with us, uh, let me know your thoughts at the end and thanks for watching. Right, everybody, over the road here, you see you've got these different types of houses on Abbey Road. You've got some really old cottages up there and then well, it's like they've just spilt sporadically like over the years and you've got these big huge houses. But the ones I wanted to point out are these ones here now. If you look at them, these are, well, they were built 40s, 50s. Um, years ago in the Second World War um, there was uh, a bomb a bomb, a flying bomb that came down Abbeyles Road and it destroyed all these houses we'll go to Greenacres shortly and have a look I'm pretty sure it was Christmas Eve um, and there was loads of people obviously lots of people killed um, and then what they did after the event they built these houses by the looks of it Ralph's is an old cooperative now we're just by um, like near the bottom of the uh, <laughs> near the bottom of Abbey Hills and then you've got the manor in there now there's a story behind the manor in I actually read about it a while ago and I have to I think it sort of sits on the boundary between Abbey Hills and Ashton and I can't work it out I'll get to the bottom of it and I'll, um, I'll add notes. But what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick look through Abbey Hills estate and then we're going to come back up and we're going to go and look at the lows so I can tell you the story of the Bloodic Hermit. beautiful down here. Everything's got like a Scottish name. Cloon Lara, Ballygowan, and that's, I think that might be Welsh actually, Ballygowan. Not sure. Can you hear them beautiful birds? It's starting to rain a little bit. We've still got to go and look at the lows yet. Oh look, there's someone down there. Look at this, step way up to someone's house. If anyone knows what this area is called, please let me know. I think this is leading out actually to somewhere else. Let's have a walk down here. Oh, it's raining. Training everyone. Need Look at that antique cottage. You 
1837. These cottages really are stunning. Look at these old slate walls. Are they slate? No. What the heck? Old stone walls. Look, do you see how... Do you see how... The shape of the windows is carved into the... Into the wood. I'm not going to focus on the house because it's someone's house, but... These, um... They really are very old and then I'd suggest these are probably older. That they're like old weavers cottages. Craft house. Fuck. Beautiful. Now there's an old pub here. I can't remember what it was called. It's shut down now. I don't know what it is. Oh, it looks like it's flats now. Now these and this road here, pretty sure They've put this big barrier here now so you can't drive up here, but let's just go up a little bit. Could be careful because it's off the beaten track, but this would have been the road, I'm quite sure, to the manor house. Let's walk up. So while we're walking up here, let me tell you the story of Billy Butterworth. Now, Billy Butterworth was alive. I think he was born in the late 1700s and he died the early 1800s. And he was known as the Hermit of Gloddick, the Gloddick Hermit. And um, he had this house that he basically built into a sort of you can't obviously, I'm assuming when all these trees weren't here, he had a house that was built into the rock, into the cliff face of the Lowe's. And um, at the time, it was fashionable to have a hermit living on your estate. And then you had the manor house, which, you know, he, he would have been the hermit of the manor house and what he did is he dug a hole, or dug a cave into, uh, he dug a cave into the side of the cliff face and he built a cottage front onto it so you would go in and then you would go down underground and uh, what he did is he decorated it with shells and stones and he made like grotesque wooden faces like gargoyles that he put on the front of it um, and he was quite a, a fa sorry about all the bloody rain he was quite a famous individual um, in the area and he, he was a he was an actor uh, I forget the girl's name I think she was called Alice but he was described as a handsome man with romantic eyes and he had a beard that would go down and sometimes to his navel and uh, this is where the manor house used to be by the way just trying to see the houses here oh it's too dodgy for me to walk down in my trainers because I'm going to fall over <laughs> but that's where the manor house was so this would have been the road up to it Anyway, Billy Butterworth. So he apparently was an actor. He was a very handsome man of the time and uh, people thought a lot of him. But this girl spurned him. I think he was going to marry her and then she decided that she wanted to marry somebody else. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why he ended up 
it's not, not documented that he ended up there because of that but you know if you think about it he, he wanted to marry her look at this crap just dumped yeah he wanted to marry her and um, she decided to marry someone else and like I say I think that's the reason why he decided to just live on his own away from everything and not put up with the crap and But yeah, the camera's getting wet because it's starting to rain, but we'll carry on. Um, the Hermit of Gloddick Lowe's. I must admit, I was quite surprised when I found out about it because I'd never heard of it. And the other exciting thing is I was in touch with Oldham Gallery. There's a lady that very kindly emails me when I have a question to ask since the lockdown because obviously you can't just go in now. Uh, she's reconfirmed that it's not going to open now until at least March. But she did say that if anything does change, then she'll obviously let me know. Um, but I, I sent her a, an email basically saying, you know, can you let me know? I believe you've got a painting of, of Billy. And she says, yeah, we've got paintings. We've got his hat. We've got his buckles. He used to wear buckles all over his clothes. He was proper, you know, you'd call him an eccentric now, wouldn't you? Uh, this place well I'm definitely not definitely not going down there on my own the bloodic lows that you can see there and this area up here I imagine would have been the smoking area if I can get up Jesus I'm trying to sort of do this with a umbrella as well and it's a seating area there Got like a a bus stop in the back. Fuck. <sighs> I'm not going in. There's no way I'm going in. While I'm here on my own, I'll be crazy. The other thing is, look at the roof. All the tiles, all the slates are coming off the roof. <laughs> Getting attacked. This is a really nice place. These old steps.